Hi there guys, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial on how to uh, play Planetary Annihilation. Um, show you a bit of the basics and uh, some things that you may not know. Um, it's mainly for people who have just picked up the game. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. So, first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the spawns. So there's only two uh, spawns here. There is number two, which is pretty dreadful. There's number one, which is pretty good for this map, uh, so I'm going to spawn here, uh, and I'm going to spawn right here, fairly close to the metal, extra to the metal, um, I'm spawning not right on top of them, so I can build a factory, like, fairly close by, uh, I'm holding shift, uh, putting the factory here, clicking a few times, uh, you can hold shift to do it five times, and, uh, I'm just going to put metal extracted down and a power plant so hopefully you can see my mouse uh, the energy storage and right now my metal is going down uh, which is good as long as I don't uh, empty my reserves of metal I should still be at 100% efficiency you want to try keeping at 100% efficiency but that will probably never happen uh, so I'm gonna try building a radar. I'd really like to get a radar first. Um, I'm now also now dipping into the low uh, metal. I'm gonna have my commander just build a lot of uh, energy. That's like the one thing that I think you should always try to keep at 100% is your energy. Um, you really never want that to go down or else you'll lose your radar and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have this engineer or fabricator go out and start getting more metal because we're going to need that really soon. I'm going to have this one build, get more over there. Um, yeah, and everything's looking pretty well. I'm going to actually build a few more fabricators. Um, or you could probably even switch it up to uh, doxes. Um, but I'm just going to keep it like that. Is, I'm only fighting it against normal AI, so I'm going to go this a bit slow. Uh, now I'm going to build an air factory, because scouting is very important, because I have no idea where the AI has spawned. Um, and I'm only going to build scouts, because um, I really don't need the air fabbers unless I want to get their the T2, or advanced uh, air factory, because only the fabbers of the... Like, if you get a bot fabber, you will get a... Bot, uh, advanced bot factory. So if you get a v advanced vehicle fact, if you want to get an advanced vehicle factory, you have to build a bot faber, and it works like that. So what I'm going to do is build a few more bot um, things with this one. All right, you have finished with that. I'm gonna have you there and build a radar. So uh, I think it'd be a good idea to build a. Uh, power storage and maybe even a metal storage since we're floating on an economy right now it's probably not going to last for very long because you definitely definitely want to build a lot of factories uh, this game is about making as many units as possible and running over your opponents it's not the greatest idea of having factories not making anything um, and planet-wide patrols are very good for scouting. I like to do uh, click on the factory itself, and it will actually make the vehicles or the aircraft do themselves. So, see uh, this one? Yep. Oh, so if I click here, looks like we just found a scout. Uh, I think I'll have these guys go up to here and see if we can't intercept it. Now, bots are very good at harassment. Tanks will always be bots, at least in this patch. This is right before the game comes out, so if you're seeing this year ages ahead, <laughs> then yeah, the game might have changed a lot by then. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna build this. What do we have up there? I thought I saw something. Alright, let's use these bots to go harass and take down that. Alright, he's building tanks, so I'm going to be very ineffective. I'm going to have those be built, but it's got to be very ineffective now, the bots, unless they just want to do some raiding. 
now I'm just going to switch it up to tanks. Because uh, once your opponent's got a good bit of tanks going, bots are worthless. They really are. They are good against air. Uh, well, decent. Uh, but they're not very good against tanks. Tanks will just absolutely destroy them. Um, so I'm going to use these bots just to take out the metal extractors and basically keep my opponent locked down. Now, uh, for people who want to planet smash, you see uh, the three things right here, the like square triangle things? That means that this planet, and both planets, can actually be planet smashed. Uh, what you need to do is get an advanced vehicle fabber, or any fabber, an advanced fabber, and make Haley's. You have to make three Haley's. That's, that's the amount that's required. These are those three things. So, now, if you want to make a infinite amount you can either press L, make an infinite amount of units, or click here, and there you go. And then all you have to do is just press it once, and there. Um, the Inferno is just a short range vehicle that does a ton of damage once it gets close. Uh, I like to have a mix of Infernos and whatever tanks are called, they change it up fairly frequently, uh, the names. Um, But, yeah. So, let's get a radar up here so I can tell what his movements are. And, oh, it looks like he's down there. So, let's get some units over here. Oh, also, another feature is this picture in picture mode. If it will pop up. There we go. So, I have, it's basically like a mini-map, but I can switch to it and such. It's very convenient, especially when you're on multiple planets. Oh, looks like we got guys coming inbound. Bots are very useful to take care of that. I'm going to have this guy run away. Um, okay, that's a scout. Looks like he finally found my base. Um, Alright, now what I'm going to do is make a ton of fighters and make the patrol just around my base. So, got to have this guy go out and expand a bit more. Definitely getting a good bit of metal. We'll probably have this guy wiped out soon. And yeah, we're doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, he's just a normal AI, so there's nothing much to expect from him. Uh, but it's definitely good for practice. Practice makes perfect. Um, like uh, the AI is no pushover. Like if you're very new to the game, I definitely would recommend playing against the AI just to get. Uh, a feel for the game. Um, uh, right click to put uh, spawn points, not spawn points, uh, rally points. There we go. That's what it's called. Rally points. Oh. And L to do the loop as well, if I didn't say that already. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be mainly for just starting off and such. Uh, I'm going to have my commander build more power because you got to just want to keep building it. Um, This faber. Uh, you can make some more of this, I guess. Um, I'll have those guys go in on them, and there we go. Okay. I'll have those guys explore a bit more. Uh, it might not be a bad idea to make more vehicle factories. Uh, I'm gonna make an advanced bot factory. Get the T2, get some T2 power out. That's always a good idea uh, when you have a good at 100% around nine minutes in. Uh, definitely not a bad idea. Having fighters on patrol around your base is very helpful. Um, it is. It does get a bit annoying, so, but it definitely won't hurt to do so. Um, definitely keeps pesky bombers out, and it's uh, good to do. And that's what I like to do once I build um, my advanced or my air factory. Uh, 
having this guy. I'm gonna have the uh, Ots take out uh, basically undefended things. Uh, now I'm gonna have it avoid anything that's really too dangerous. Tanks can take out the dangerous stuff, like uh, anything that's very uh, difficult to kill, like turrets and such. Bots will just get ripped apart trying to take out that kind of stuff. Uh, but they're really good at harassment, taking out radar and stuff. That's going to be very annoying for have these guys just go and take out the power. You know, just go after econ economic stuff. That's definitely what you really want to do is take out their economy. You know, destroy the economy. That That's really what your goal is. If anything, try getting a commander as nice as you can, but really uh, killing their economy. Taking out a radar is a very good idea, too just so that they have no idea where your army's coming from, attacking from multiple directions. Um, and definitely having this mini-map down here, and pay attention to what uh, pops up uh, up top. Um, and you will have a good time, but just remember, you, you have to try keeping your eco balanced out. Like right now, I'm, I have I'm doing very well right now. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build more economic structures. Now, with the uh, this power generator, it's going to degrade since nothing is building it, and it's just going to disappear. So, I'll have my bots deal with that, and yeah. So, if you ever fight an opponent, opponent who is using a lot of bots, um, just fight back with tanks and single point laser, single uh, point defense lasers, or whatever they're called. Uh, let me check. Uh, single laser defense towers and throw up walls, and that will be very successful against bots. Yeah. Uh, where did he go? Suppose we can do some more scouting. It's not a bad idea to do. Scouting is always a good idea, because once it, that bot uh, finishes uh, planning everything... Ah, he's down there! So, not a bad idea just to grab a fighter and start throwing him in there. Uh, I'm just going to start sending stuff in there, because it's definitely a GG. Everything's going pretty well right now. Yep, he's getting ran over. Um, now it's time to get the commander. And if you have the opportunity to kill kill the commander, do it because that's got to end the game a lot quicker. And if you and it will maybe just save you from a loss. So it's always a good idea to kill that commander. Advanced factories online. Now we're gonna have those bots charge in there. Uh, Infernos are definitely, if anything, I think of them as a nice wall that can do damage once they get up close. And, yep. Now I'm just going to say GG to the AI. And that is game. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.